welcome to another edition of Rust Rants. I'm John Rust, and I come on and go off about, well, whatever's honking me off today. So most people around the country have been sending their thoughts and prayers to Buffalo Bills safety Lamar Hamlin after he went into cardiac arrest on the field during Monday night's game with Cincinnati. Uh, The good news is Hamlin is improving. He's awake. He's moving his extremities. He's also using a pen and paper to communicate with people. So definitely something that we can all be glad for. Unfortunately... There are some people out there who want to use this situation to push their agenda. And one of them is Joy Behar, one of the co-hosts of The View, the show where intelligence goes to die. You know, honestly, we've done about 140 episodes of Rust Rants, and I can't believe this is the first time I've addressed something stupid that Joy Behar has said. But, well, I guess today was her time. Uh, anyway, the ladies of The View were talking about the risks of playing tackle football and the intellectual giant, that is, Joy Behar, spewed this out. Quote, only 45% of Americans think tackle football is appropriate. Well, you know, given the number of people across this country who watch football and or participate in football, uh... I really question where she get where she got that stat from. Uh, moving on, uh, Behar said, "Quote: Heterosexual men voted the most support for kids joining football, and conservatives were more likely to support youth tackle football." Just saying. End quote. So, what were you just saying, Joy? that it's because of straight conservative men that bad injuries happen in football, that straight conservative men being fans of football uh, led to that unfortunate injury to DeMar Hamlin. Why would you even bring that up? You know, what does that information have to do with what happened to DeMar Hamlin? It, it was a horrific, probably one in a million, maybe even like a one in a billion injury that happened to him. It has nothing to do with the kind of people who support football. And, you know, if you're worried about people getting injured, well, you know, it's, there's just a big risk when it comes to playing football. It just comes with the territory and players and parents need to realize that to make a decision whether or not they want their kid to play football and whether or not they want to accept the risk that goes with playing that sport. But honestly, any sport that you play has inherent risks. You play tennis, you could twist an ankle. You play golf, you might wrench your back. And actually, I've talked to athletic trainers around here And they tell me that there are more concussions among cheerleaders than most other athletes. And that includes football players. So where are the ladies of The View talking about the risk to cheerleaders? Actually, since it's The View we're talking about, they would also probably call that activity sexist. Uh, There was no reason for Joy Behar to say what she said except to stir the political pot that honestly does not need any more stirring. And to end it by saying, just saying, uh, you know, no, Joy, if if you have a point to make, then make it. Don't take the coward's way out by saying, just saying. Then again, you know. Like it really matters, Joy Behar never knows what she's saying anyway. Uh, First off, folks, conservative men, liberal men, straight men, gay men, conservative women, liberal women, straight women, and gay women, they all like football. Is it so hard to just wish Damar Hamlin well and that he has a speedy recovery and leave it at that. Well, I guess for people like Joy Behar, who are consumed by identity politics, then, yeah, 
That is too much to ask for. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Rust Rants. Be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe across all of KYCA's social media. That's Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Instagram. Check us out at KYCA.info. Be sure to smash the like button. Leave a comment on this video. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Till next time, I'm John Rust. I'll see you soon.